conservation of our forests. Three o'clock in the afternoon is the hour of great mercy. At this time, our Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross and redeemed the world. You died, Jesus, but the source of life flowed out for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, immeasurable divine mercy, cover the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which flowed out from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. This is DYDC-FM 104.7, your development campus radio. Broadcasting from the beautiful campus of the Visayas State University, Visca, Bye Bye City, Leyte, Philippines. PSU Radio, DYDC. Ako si Dr. Edgardo Tulin. Presidente sa Visaya State University. Para na ako, DYDCFM yun ko. Ikaw sab ha, Radio Kalambuan yun na. Unsay course kikuha ni mo diri sa Visaya State University? BS Devcom. Ah, ka na magpicture-picture? Magvideo-video unya mag-host po? Dili iya uy. Devcom is more than that. Sa Devcom, tabangan na mo ang komunidad nga mulambo pinaagi sa ilang pagpaningkamot, maagrikultura, health, or environment mana. Kangini, good day ninyo no? A message of concern from Devcom 122 Class, Dexo, and this station. DYDC-FM Your Development Campus Radio <laughs> The Visaya State University, through the Department of Development Communication and DYDC-FM 104.7, in partnership with the East-West Center, EWC, and Honolulu, Hawaii, USA, and the two schools divisions of the Department of Education, DepEd, Bye Bye City Schools Division, Leyte, and Southern Leyte Schools Division, proudly presents... The School on the Air, or SOA on Visual Arts for Mental Health and Environment. A radio school program that will educate visual arts among teachers and students who are into music, arts, physical education, and health. MAPE and Special Program in the Arts, SPA of the DepEd as our SOA participants. This is to improve their quality of education, create awareness, and promote mental health and well-being, as well as environmental protection among our SOA participants. SOA, mental health and environment. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Philippine Standard Time. And now... Please welcome the two radio hosts of this SOA program. All right, good afternoon, uh, participants and guests. Welcome to the launching of the School on the Air on Visual Arts for Mental Health and the Environment. I'm Gwen Andrade. And I am Pauline Fernandez. Aloha to all of you. Hello, Visayas State University, VSU, and to the SOA project team. 
Our partners from the East-West Center in Honolulu, Hawaii, USA, the Department of Education or DepEd, DepEd by Bicity and Southern Leyte Schools Division Superintendents, Assistant Superintendents and Supervisors, School Heads, MAPE and SPA or Special Program for the Arts Teachers and Students who are our SOA participants and everyone tuning in to this special radio program today. Hope everyone is safe and well. That's right, Gwen. Indeed, today is very special because we are launching the School on the Air project. I am very excited, Gwen, and I think our participants are feeling the same, right? I couldn't agree more, Perlin. No? Mm -hmm. I mean, come to think of it, mm -hmm. our SOA participants will learn more on visual arts, you know, uh, like drawing, mm -hmm. painting, Thing, sketching and all that stuff and at the same time advocate for mental health and environment uh, protection through their drawings and as well as poetry. Wow, that's like hitting two birds with one stone. Well, Gwen, to give us a background and a rationale of the School on the Air project, how it came to be, and what it tries to achieve in the next two or three months, let us welcome the SOA project leader and the head of the DevCom department here at VSU, Dr. Christina A. Gabilio. All right, so let's uh, have no, uh, Mom Dade Gabilio. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hello. Hello, good afternoon, Perlene, and good afternoon, everyone. Could you see my slides now? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Thank you. Our East West Center Alumni Engagement, alum, East West Center Alumni Engagement Director, Christina Monroe, VSU President, Dr. Edgardo Tulin, and other VSU officials, DevCom faculty and staff. DYDCFM Station Manager, Dr. Rotasio Gravoso and staff, Superintendent of Southern Lady Schools Division, Dr. Janis Morales and his supervisors, MAPE and SPA teachers and students, as well as their school heads, Superintendent of Bye Bye City Schools Division, Dr. Raul Agban, his supervisors, MAPE, SPA teachers and school heads and students, other guests, ladies and gentlemen, aloha. So let me present to you the project SOA on visual arts for mental health and environment. For my points of discussion, I will give you the background of the project with some snap snapshots of our APLP training, the rationale of the SOA project, the stages of the SOA, and the theory of change. Well, this project came about when I became an Asia Pacific Leadership Program, APLP Generation 19 or G19 fellow in August to December 2019 in a East West Center in Honolulu, Hawaii, wherein I spent two months at East West Center or EWC in Honolulu, Hawaii, USA, two weeks in Chennai, India, and the rest of the weeks and months were from VSU because it, it is a blended mode of leadership training. So in other words, um, this, uh, the proposal that I submitted was an offshoot of my APLP training. And uh, fortunately, uh, we're just lucky enough that uh, the EWC uh, approved the proposal and funded it in 2020. That was the first project, uh, which was on radio drama on disaster preparedness. And this year, 2021, we have this SOA on visual arts for mental health and environment. And uh, really, I thank uh, Christina Monroe and EWC for granting me this fellowship as the 2020 and 2021 Innovation Fellow. And I know I can do this alone without the help of my great project team here at VSU and uh, also the active participation of 
uh, the DepEd, MAPE, SPA teachers and students, as well as the very uh, supportive VSU administration. So these uh, are some of the snapshots. Uh, when I had this project, I already mentioned the radio drama was on, uh, it was entitled Be Typhoon Resilient, Kabangi Sabagyo Radio Drama. And this was one of our workshops. And uh, we even had this uh, well being journey wherein our well being is very much important when it comes to leadership. And this is also very timely now that we're having this pandemic and we included mental health in the theme of the SOA. So this is my cohort. You can see Ariana Luer in there as one of the resource persons of the SOA. So my, my batchmates, G19. Okay, so the rationale for the SOA. So since March, 2020, and up until now, we're having this COVID-19 pandemic. Um, it brought much anxieties and mental health problems. And uh, of course, all people worldwide and uh, not exempting the students and the teachers, right? Aside from that, aside from this pandemic, we also have disasters like floods, typhoons, and to address these two major problems, we're having this SOA and visual arts for our SOA participants to express feelings and advocate for mental health and environment. This will only run for six weeks. So that is 1.5 months for an hour, three times a week. So that's 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, we're having 120 participants uh, from the two schools divisions. And uh, all lessons are in video format because you might wonder, why is it in radio SOA? <laughs> and the, the SOA is on visual arts. So all the lessons are given in video format, okay? And uh, okay, thank you so much no, for saying yes. no. Uh, to our SDS of the two schools divisions for saying yes to your MAPE and SPA teachers and students. And I'd like to mention particularly the Bye Bye City Schools Division and Southern Leyte Schools Division. And we're really very thankful for your counterpart. So you provided the e-load for the Zoom uh, classes and lessons of our SOA for your SOA participants. And of course, the SOA project will give this SOA lessons for free. And we also give or provide all the drawing kits, or all the drawing materials for this SOA on visual arts. The SOA has three stages, pre-broadcast, broadcast proper, and the post-broadcast. So we are now on the broadcast proper. And if you can see it on the right uh, side of uh, this slide, you can see the, the SOA logo. This is originally conceptualized and designed by our resident visual artist here at the DEFCOM department, no other than Professor, Assistant Professor Jude Noni A. Sales. So you'll know the meaning of that logo later on as we move along with the program. And uh, let me just read to you the theory of change because this is the measure, this is the tool and the guide uh, that will tell us if we have achieved the, the objectives of the project. So there's one if and three thens. Okay, if we develop and disseminate a community, community school on the air on visual arts for mental health and environmental protection, then the secondary MAPE, SPA students and teachers in remote and poor barangays will have access to the information on how to combat mental health problems and protect the environment through their drawings and poetry. Then there will be a change of knowledge of the individual teacher, student, classmates and siblings of students, household, school and community levels 
regarding possible solutions to problems on mental health and environmental management. Then there will be an improvement of teachers and students' mental health well-being and environmental management practices initiatives at the school and community levels. And we hope we could achieve this one at the end of uh, our SOA lessons. So I think um, that's all for now. Thank you so much for your attention. I know we can do this SOA project together as one. That's all, thank you. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Uh, Gabrielio. No? And we also have with us uh, other EWC alumni, APLP G18, Dr. Karen Y. Tevez, other APLP G19, Ariana Lohr, and uh, G. Kawalo from uh, YSEALI. Aloha to EWC, Christina Monroe, Lance Boyd, Doris Carini, and uh, Sophia Jamil. Please say aloha and wave your hands, please. Uh, to those we are called. All right. And we also acknowledge our uh, VSU officials, the DEVCOM faculty and staff, headed by, of course, uh, no less than Dr. Christina A. Gabrillo, who just uh, presented the rationale a while ago. Uh, our DYDC FM station manager, uh, CAF's Dean, Dr. Uh, uh, Victor Asho, Dean of Students, Professor Manolo Loreto Jr., Director for Extension, Dr. Antonio Abamo, Vice President for Student Affairs and Services, Dr. Aleli A. Villusino, uh, Vice President for Research, Extension, and Innovation, Dr. Maria Juliet C. Seniza, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Beatriz S. Belonias, and our very own su VSU, su uh, VSU uh, President, <laughs> Dr. Edgardo Tulin. Likewise, aloha to our DEPED officials, and kawai kawai naman kay Jan. And if you have, if you can give us a thumbs up, please. <laughs> thumbs up. Yeah, just to lighten up the mood. All right. Well, this SOA project would not be possible when, no, without the financial support of our partners at East West Center in Hawaii, USA. Could we hear a short message from the EWC Director of Alumni Engagement, uh, Christina Monroe? Yeah. Hello, Christina. I, I've seen Christina Monroe saying aloha a while ago. Right. Are you here? Yeah. All right, so we'll get back at uh, Director Christina Monroe. All right, so at this point, uh, let's have, no? Uh, a message from our beloved VSU President, Dr. Edgardo E. Tulin. Hi. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. And uh, also, aloha from uh, way down up in Hawaii. Anyway, again, good afternoon. And... Uh, to our East-West Alumni Director, Christina Monroe, uh, the project leader of this uh, project, Dr. Christina Gabrillo, our partners from uh, DepEd, starting with uh, Dr. Raul D. Agban, the Schools Division Superintendent, Bye Bye City Division, as well as Dr. Janice Morales, of the Southern Lady Schools Division Superintendent. We also have the Education Program Supervisor from Bye Bye City Division, Dr. Joe Anserna Rapada. And the counterpart in Southern Leyte, uh, we have Dr. Alan Roselio. And our resource speakers, uh, who are, I think, will be presenting also this afternoon. Uh, of course, our VPs who are in attendance, our Dean of Students, our faculty and staff of the Department of Development Communication, our anchors of the station DYDCFM, very lively program this afternoon. Our teachers from uh, 
our Department of Education who are present. Uh, I think we have a very good number today, 91 participants in this webinar. And also the student participants are also witnessing this event. No? Again, uh, good afternoon and aloha to all. I'm very glad that uh, uh, there is this uh, parang uh, re-entry plan of Dr. Gabrilio in her training from uh, Hawaii or from the East-West sponsored training. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, quite uh, impressed that uh, there is a program to apply the skills or the methodologies or the learnings that she learned from that engagement in the East-West. No? And uh, of course, uh, I, I take notice that uh, the beneficiaries of this School on the Air program are actually our students our pupils from the Department of Education. So what better way of uh, actually putting all this in context together to benefit our uh, students or our, uh, yeah, deaf ed students. And uh, what also a better opportunity for us to have this program in terms of uh, health, environment, for mental awareness, and all that is covered in this program, which is also very relevant to what uh, is actually uh, the, the pressing issues or the important issues at the moment, especially in this pandemic time. Yeah? And uh, School on the Air, of course, we are uh, broadcasting, we are uh, disseminating this information through our radio programs, through videos, which is, uh, I think also very important in this time of uh, uh, this crisis. No? And all of these things, I learned, of course, that we have resource persons that are also being tapped, resource persons that in their own way also have their expertise in this uh, field. No? We have our guidance counselor, we have our visual artist, and then we have uh, our environmental uh, stewards to go all these things, the experts that are actually uh, experts on all these things. No? And uh, I am sure that uh, the programs that will be, uh, that you have designed for this activity are uh, actually based on the contextualized effort also from the learnings of Dr. Gabrilio and also from the, the methodologies or the trainings that the East West Center of Hawaii has extended to our faculty members. No? And uh, of course, uh, I would like uh, to express our, uh, appreciate, our appreciation to the East West Center's trust and confidence in the Visayas State University and for accepting our faculty members uh, in this program. Uh, with uh, this kind of benefits that are now going into the mainstream students in the Department of Education. And uh, also, uh, having said that, uh, we are linking this one or we are connecting this one to what we believe are very relevant and appropriate at the moment, and also uh, what uh, VSU can offer as, an, as a field of endeavor also of the university. And uh, of course, I would appreciate the efforts of the Department of Development Communication and DYDCFM for spearheading this activity. Jan Langkayo, because uh, I know you are very instrumental in this, uh, this kind of program and uh, you are the link, you are the, the vein of uh, all these things. Because as we say, if it's school on the air, this is really a program on the air. And uh, of course, uh, with visual arts to promote our environment, uh, poetry. I heard that you are talking about poetry, drawings, um, visual interpretation or visual rendition of what we see. And I hope that uh, when we teach th these things to our students, they can now actually relate some of the things that they have experienced, perhaps express their feelings through your, uh, through how we convey that uh, 
through the drawings, through the poetry that uh, hopefully will come out from this uh, activity, at the end of this activity. And uh, also my sincere appreciation to the Department of Education, especially the Bye Bye City Division and the Southern Lady Division uh, for accepting this challenge in the program and uh, for linking to us uh, and uh, making all these efforts of the university uh, somehow will connect to our students in the, our barangays or in other areas that uh, could be reached by this program. And uh, to our resource speakers and experts, Ms. Marwen Castaneda, uh, Professor Jude Nonisales, and uh, we have here Ms. Ariana Loer for environmental protection. And I believe that uh, this expertise uh, will go a long way in the consciousness and minds of our young students when they will try to hear, and they will try to, uh, to put the, this, all these things into their consciousness and develop a sense of knowledge and understanding which will later translate to good things, not only for themselves, but also for the people and the environment around them. So to all VSU officials who are attending this one, thank you for your support. Our BP for, I saw our BP for research, Dr. Sinisa, our BP for students. And uh, of course, uh, uh, this could be a program that uh, hopefully will also inspire our other experts in the university to, to develop the initiatives and innovation uh, to make their fields uh, uh, relevant to our community, especially to our students who at this point in time really need uh, the, the support, uh, mental, physical, and uh, technology support uh, in order for their studies to be uh, to, have, to have a more understanding of their knowledge. No? So again, congratulations everyone to our partners from DepEd in both the Bye Bye City Division and Southern Leyte and uh, all who are viewing this uh, webinar or this meeting, this launching. Thank you so much. And, uh, I think that you, that you will have very fruitful, engaging, and uh, productive uh, engagement. Marami salamat po. All right. Thank you, Mr. President. Now let's have EWC Director Christina Monroe for her message. Aloha and mabuhay to everyone. It's an honor to be here. Um, it is late at night in Hawaii, so it, excuse me for the dark coloring. <laughs> the household is asleep, but I would not miss this for anything. Um, it's uh, a delight to see all of you here. Um, you really represent the, um, the front edge of the resilience and the youthfulness, um, youthful wisdom that uh, will bring us forward um, in, in the next year, in the next decade, um, in, in the next half century. So this is a lot to put on you. <laughs> and I know that much of the goal is, is just uh, starting with, with our own mental health. So let me say as a leadership uh, educator and professional for 16 years, that those two are completely related. Your personal health and well being, as Dr. Gabriel pointed out in the workshops that we do, is intimately related to your power as a leader and your ability to influence um, and change your community for the better. So never think that your own, your own health or well being uh, needs to be sacrificed, it should be prioritized. So I congratulate you on doing that and congratulate a program that recognizes the centrality of that in this very challenging time um, in which leaders such as you will emerge. So focus on yourself and good things 
will come from that in um, making sure that you're healthy, that will radiate out to your family and to your community. And what uh, no better way to do that than through the arts, as we see with um, some of the misinformation in the media, which we'll be focused on in a conference at the East West Center this weekend. One of the ways you do that is by sharing through your own media forms, arts, uh, poetry, writing, radio, uh, genuinely how you feel, how your community feels, sharing that honestly and getting the word out, that is the opposite of misinformation. That is the good information that can be coming through the media. So again, congratulations on being part of a very innovative, um, a very, again, a very front edge of how media can be used uh, for, for good. I also want to point out um, how impressive it is, uh, your mentors, Dr. Gabrio, how taking a moment um, in which uh, plans were on the way, working on a project, and then all of a sudden with COVID, uh, such a pivot to be very responsive to her stakeholders and beneficiary. And, and I encourage that um, as, as leaders and as people, um, don't be afraid to start a plan, have a strong vision and then think, oh, actually I'm gonna change that whole thing because my community needs something else now. My family needs something else now. That's exactly what good artists do as well. Take the materials they have and, and be creative. So uh, very excited to see how you use that creativity, that pivoting in times of challenge in your work uh, these six weeks together. So I'm not talking much about the East West Center, but I do hope um, you know that you're now part of a family of uh, 68,000 East West Center alumni and ohana, as we say in Hawaiian, uh, professionals and students across the globe in 179 countries with 50 chapters that are part of this network that the East West Center represents. That is now as well your family, you're just meeting your family, maybe I'm the first person you've met, but please know that um, that is now um, part of your experience and your network and all of those people uh, wish you well and are excited and happy and supportive. Um, they're going to learn about you and what you're doing um, along your path. And so please know that you have a big family behind you um, across the globe, best represented by the, the other alumni here. You're already knowing Dr. Gabrio, um, of course, Karen, Ariana, others that are a part um, that you will meet. Um, so uh, aloha and welcome to this family and excited to see how your journey goes. And please know that we're all rooting for you around the world as you take care of yourself and thus take care of your family and your community. Aloha. All right, mahalo for that, uh, Director Christina Monroe of EWC in Hawaii, USA. Uh, at this point, uh, on behalf of the DepEd Southern Leyte Schools Division Superintendent, we have with us Dr. Alan Rosselio, Education Program Supervisor in MAPE, to express his commitment and introduce to us their SOA participants. Hello and have a great day to all of us. My Salutation to the distinguished personalities from the Visayas State University, aided by our president, Dr. Edgardo E. Tolin, to the SOA project leader and head of Asia DivCom department, uh, Dr. Christina A. Gab Gabrillo, to Dr. Jude Nuni A. Solis, our SOA study leader and the head of Asia Culture and Arts Center, and other university officials who are in attendance. The East Dewey Center Director at the University of Manoa in Hawaii, USA, Dr. Christina Monroe and other officials, aloha. To our friends from Bye Bye City Division, headed by East East Raul Abban and my friend, Education Program Supervisor, uh, BFF, Joanne Serna Rapada, hello, Bye Bye City. And of course, my deep and Southern Lady family, headed by our Scots Division Superintendent, Dr. Genis Ismoralios, our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Joel Sartiga, the Chief Education Supervisor in Curriculum Implementation Division, Dr. Lisa L. Demetario, the school heads, the MAPI teachers, and the learners of the selected 21 secondary schools 
with our very active school heads uh, particip and participants, please be recognized from Anahawan National Vocational High School headed by the school head Francisco Caputi, Francasio Caputi, hello. Kawai kawai kayo dyan. And of course, from Bontok National High School headed by Perlita Tumon, the school head. Hello. From Concepcion National High School, headed by Dolce Napala. Hello, sir. Um, good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Kawai kawai kayo sa ating mga bisita, mga guests. From Himbanga National High School, the principal Evelyn Salienti. Hello, Evelyn. Good morning, sir. Good afternoon, Good afternoon sir. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. From Hinunanga yes. National High School, the principal, Irene Tives. Hello, Mama Irene. Sir, BC, course. sir, BC. BC. Buhat, sir, oh. <laughs> okay, the representative. <laughs> the teachers from Hinunanga. Hello. Uh, oh, sir. First, from Icho National High School, uh, the principal, Amor Abando, and participants. Hello, participants of Ichon National High School. Hello, sir. Hello, hello, hello. And of course, the participants from Libago National High School, the principal, Doraliza Alfaro, Ma'am Dora, and the participants. Yeah, from Limasawa National High School, live from the island, the first mass of the Asia in Asia. Limasawa Island, headed by Wilfrida Medalia. The only secondary school in the island of Limasawa. Hi, Raman Mo. Yes, sir. And of course, our delegation from Liloan National Technical Vocational High School, headed by Wilfredo Mosong, sir. Liloan. Good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon. And of course, again, from our city's National High School, the principal, Winnie Laida Hadlokon. Hello, Ma'am Winnie. And of course, the Pati Borgos National Technical Vocational High School, headed by the newly promoted principal, Conrado Taranti. Hello, sir. Pati Borgos. Kina, I think. Oh, Nara Sila. The Pintoya National Vocational High School, headed by Dr. Rico Ampere. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, Doc. And RMSM Nahaong National High School, headed by Risa Pina Florinda. Ma'am. Kawai, kawai. Oh, narasila. From San Ricardo National High School, the principal, Richie Balili. Hello, sir. Sir, may hapon. Oh, may hapon, San Ricardo. From Santa Cruz National High School, headed by the principal, Tito Balde. Hello, sir. Participants of Santa Cruz. Cruz. Hello. Majung hapon tinatong oh, tanan. Majung hapon. And aloha, sir. Aloha. Santo Nino National High School, the principal, Rini Libot. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Good afternoon the participants from Santo Nino National High School. Tambis National High School, headed by Erwin Bulabog, sir. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Aloha, oh. everyone. Tambis National High School, thank you. From Velia Jacinta National Vocational High School, headed by the principal, Dr. Myrna Caballero. Ma'am, namo diha. Yes, good afternoon. Oh, yes. Good afternoon, Velia Jacinta. And of course, the San Juan National High School is a special program in the arts, headed by the principal, Rina Ligaya Marquita, and the school head of SPA, Jerisa Lobo. Hello, San Juan. Okay, Ramu, taga San Juan, hanapa po muli ha. And of course, the participants from Sugod National High School Special Program for in the Arts, headed by the principal, Indalicia Sumolat, and the SPE head, Cynthia Abonda. Sugod National High. Hello. Oh, hello, taga Sugod. Kawai-kawai naman kayo dyan. And of course... <laughs> And last but not the least, our, 
participants from Santa Paz National High School, headed by Eleanor Taripi. Hello, sir. Good Hello, Santa Paz. Good afternoon, Hello. Santa Paz. Okay, thank you for your 100% attendance. As the MAPI Education Program Supervisor in DepEd Southern Leyte, I extend my thanks and congratulations to Visayas State University and partner institution from Hawaii USA for initiating this project. We know that school year 2020-2021 has been a tough year to each of us. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought so many changes and challenges to our working lives. Yet through this project, we hope and pray that somehow we could fight and win this global crisis by focusing on mental health and health, mental health promotion and environment protection through our poetry and drawing. Hence, our Deep Ed Southern Lady, under the leadership of our Superintendent Genis Morales and Assistant Superintendent Dr. Joel Sartiga, and of course, the Chief of Education Supervisor in Curriculum Implementation Division, Dr. Lisa L. Dimitrio, together with our 27 MAPI teachers and 33 learners, a total of 60 participants, now declare our full support and cooperation to the successful implementation in this project with our sustainability plan on the school in the air, on visual arts for mental health and the environment. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and God bless everybody. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Thank you so much, Dr. Rosilio. And uh, welcome to our participants, Buena, and to our teachers. Again, welcome, everyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, on behalf of the Dep Ed Bye Bye City School Division Superintendent, we have uh, Dr. Joe Anserna Rapada, Education Program Supervisor from MAPI, which has SOA participants. Hello, ma'am. Hello, you're still on mute, uh, Dr. Rapada. Uh, you're still on mute. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. We, the participants from DepEd Bye Bye City Division of the School on the Air on Visual Arts for Mental Health and Environment, are committed to complete this virtual workshop with diligence, perseverance, and our utmost potential. We commit to submit all course requirements, not just on time, but with honesty and integrity in all our outputs. We commit to continuously evaluate ourselves, be open-minded during the, the workshop, and critical about our own philosophy. And we pledge to be at our best at all time. So ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the participants from DepEd Bye Bye City Division. Let me start with the participants from Bye Bye National High School. They have four participants headed by Dr. Julieta T. Denden, represented by the MAPE SPA SPS Department of Ed, Sir Lilio Arabiana Jr. Kawai kawai naman dyan. Virtual clap, please. Let's move on to the participants from Bye Bye City Senior High School Arts and Design Truck, headed by Sir Roger Lingatong, represented by the Arts and Design Department Head, Sir Francis Recto. Hi! Okay. Hello. Let's have Hi. Oh, bye-bye. Okay. For Banahaw National High School, they have eight participants with their school head, Ma'am Irene Mangle. Hello, Banahaw. Okay. So we have three participants from Bunga. National High School, headed by Sir Virgilio Daguro. Hello. Sorry. Hi, ma'am. Hi. <laughs> mabati ko. Then, yes, mabati. Jude, loud and clear. <laughs> we have 
three participants from Caridad National High School, headed by their school head, Sir Gilbert Galinsoga. Then we have Okay, we have the participants from Siabo National High School. We have eight participants from Siabo National High School, headed by Dr. Jerry L. Torillo. Hello, bye-bye. Hello. Okay. Then we have seven participants from Claridel National High School. With their school head, Sir Adriano. Then we have three participants from Pumpuna National High School with their school head, Ma'am Maria Leonila Pancito. So, in DepEd by by City Division, we have a total of 60 participants. All right, thank you. All right, thank you so, uh, so much for that, Dr. Uh, Rapada. We now proceed to the uh, ceremonial signing of the uh, Memorandum of Agreement between uh, VSU and Southern Leyte Schools Division to be followed by VSU and by Bay City Schools Division. We request uh, VSU President Dr. Edgardo Tulin and Southern Leyte Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Jenis S. Morales, CESO 5, to virtually sign the MOA. Could we hear a short message from SDS Morales as well? Could we see the signing first? Yeah, signing. Have the signing first. <clears throat> okay. All right, thank you so much. So I think, yeah, the virtual signing is already done. So could you hear a message from uh, SDS uh, Dr. Janice Morales? Good afternoon, everyone. Especially to uh, Dr. Edgardo Tulin, the president of the Visayas State University. I, I really want to thank uh, Visayas State University uh, for considering our teachers of the Department of Education of Southern Lady Division as participants to this uh, very significant and uh, timely virtual training on visual arts uh, for mental health and environment. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Christina Gabrillo for inviting us. And of course, uh, I saw the name of uh, Dr. Jude Sales. Uh, uh, I know that uh, you will have a very important role in the implementation of this training program through the School on Air. Uh, we have worked with you uh, in the special program in the arts in Bye Bye City National High School while I was still there in uh, Bye Bye City. And uh, uh, of course, I would like, uh, as far as I can remember, VSU uh, was a very supportive partner, especially when we started offering senior high school. Uh, by, uh, besides State University, helped us train our senior high school teachers in social science, in uh, mathematics, environmental science, and I think uh, also in, in human kinetics. So, uh, we had those partnerships, successful partnership, and uh, uh, I am de delighted to be uh, remembered and uh, uh, invited uh, to this program. And uh, hopefully, our 
teacher participants who really uh, seriously take this training uh, uh, for them to be able to uh, teach other teachers uh, and of course our learners uh, later. So I would like to thank also si, si, uh, Dr. Alan Roselio for uh, coordinating uh, in, in, in coordinating uh, with, with the Visayas State University. And uh, hopefully this will be another uh, successful uh, partnership. And again, thank you very much, uh, VSU, for the invite. Good afternoon. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Morales. Then uh, we'll have the MOA signing between VSU President Edgardo Tulin and the ESDS of Bye Bye City Schools Division, Dr. Raul D. Agban. And on behalf of uh, SDS Agban, we have Dr. Jose Milo Ruiz, the Chief Education Program Supervisor, Curriculum Implementation Division. Could we? Yes. Pag-uusapan, medyo magkado naman, kabisado po ang issues. There's yes. Hello, Dr. Ruiz. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. For and in behalf of our school's division superintendent, Dr. Raul D. Agban, with his assistant school's division superintendent, Ma'am Laurie Lai A. Macias, we are very grateful, honored, and privileged with this opportunity to work with the Visayas State University having this project on the schools on the air. We just would like to express our thanks to the president of the Visayas State University, Dr. Edgardo E. Tulin, our former uh, chairperson of the, v, the, v, the Visca Educational Foundation Incorporated, our Everly father and ever supportive uh, head when I was still there at BFES. Um, to the rest of the men and women of the Visayas State University, to the SOA project leader, Ma'am Christina Gabrielio, to the East West Center of Hawaii, uh, USA, Ma'am Christina Monroe, um, as well as our partner schools division office, headed by Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Janice S. Morales, to Dr. Alan Rosilio, our, our teachers, our school heads, our supervisor in MAPE here in Bye Bye City Division, Ma'am Joan Rapada. Uh, we would like to express our heartfelt and 100% commitment on complying the task and mandates of this project that we will be undertaking. We know for a fact that VSU and Bye Bye City Division uh, has a lot of programs and projects that they have been partnered for for the past years. And it was being manifested by our former superintendent, Dr. Janice Morales, na meron talaga tayong mga partnerships na ginagawa dito. And in fact, naka-line up, naka-pipeline naka na po dito yung partnership namin with uh, with the other department of VSU, yung English language teaching namin, nakapal, nakaline up na rin po yung mga activities on that. And for on behalf of our superintendent, Sir Tulin, we'd like to commit this project to be successful. Thank you and good afternoon, everyone. All right, thank you so much to our partners of the SOA project. This time, I know you're all excited to meet our SOA experts slash resource persons. So um, for our uh, participants, you will be uh, working with them. So they are your uh, subject matter experts. They are your teachers for this one and a half month of uh, school, school on the, the air, air, basically. No? Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, please introduce yourself very briefly. Maybe maybe we can have uh, first Sir Jude Nonesales of VSU. So sir, please uh, do... Uh, uh, introduce yourself and uh, just a bit, bit of background of, of what you do <clears throat> and, your, uh, and your expertise. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, mabuhay and aloha to everyone. 
Uh, I am Jude Noni Isales, a teacher from the Visayas State University at the Department of Development Communication. Uh, I will be your school on the air resource speaker for visual arts techniques, modules three to six. So I'm very excited to see you soon. So I hope that uh, this school in the air will not only develop your uh, skills and talents in visual arts, but also try to uh, teach you how to promote uh, about mental health and wellness, as well as the environment. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Sir Jude. Now let's have Ma'am Marwen Castaneda, also of VSU, to uh, uh, briefly introduce herself and her uh, expertise and, um, and everything, uh, her background. Hello, a uh, warm Biscan greetings, everyone. Um, yes, my name is Marwin Castaneda. Um, I have been a guidance counselor for the past 20 years, an affiliate counselor at the Student Services Offices of the, dean, uh, Office of the Dean of Students. Uh, for the module one, I would be your um, lecturer on fostering mental well-being through arts. So welcome everyone, mabuhay and aloha. Thank you so much, Ma'am Marwin. And now we'll have Ms. Ariana Luer, who is now based in London. Please do introduce yourself, ma'am, very briefly. Aloha everyone. Um, I'm Ariana and I'll be with you for module two on environmental protection. My background is actually as a biologist, but I do art for fun. And uh, um, I'll be working with you guys on an environmental protection module where you'll learn uh, what, um, how art and nature can relate to one another and the same traits that biologists and artists have as well. So I'm looking forward to working with you all. All right, thank you so much, uh, Miss Ariana Lower. Actually, uh, she's in uh, based now in uh, London. London. Right, so guys, there you are. You've met our SOA subject matter experts and they will be your mentors for the next six weeks, no bueno? So I hope you will all listen, take down notes, uh, learn, and of course, enjoy it more. For learning is good when it's fun. That's all right? right. And next, we have the launching of the SOA logo on visual arts designed by no less than uh, our uh, assistant professor, Jude Noni A. Salas. Yes, Berlin, uh, could you read the meaning of the SOA logo? I I don't know if we can uh, flash the, uh, uh, the logo on screen. I think we have. Okay. Can, can, you, can somebody flash the logo again? Because <laughs> we don't have that here. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. okay, so while waiting no, for the logo, uh, we are inviting everyone no, to, uh, listening now, no, so radio, we are inviting you to please join us at Satom Facebook live streaming right when we're yes. in a live via Facebook. Just look for our official Facebook page at BSU GYDC 104.7 FM. And also, Perlin, uh, this is just not just for uh, SOA, for mm -hmm. our participants, but this is also for everyone for listening, everyone listening. Uh, over 104.7 FM. So maybe uh, you can also learn more about right. environmental uh, conservation and, of course, uh, mental health awareness. So um, even if uh, we have our enrollees, we also uh, can learn no, something mm -hmm. from this SOA. Okay. So I think we're still waiting for the logo. logo. Anyways. Okay, so every, is, uh, are every uh, one uh, doing great? <laughs> okay, <ra. laughs> so let's just okay. So let's have um, a little uh, plug mm -hmm. as we we prepared something as well for uh, our uh, school on the air radio plug. So you might as well listen to this. <laughs> Well then, hindi to good ano yung drawing. Nature na na, oy! May pakapin balak pagod ay. Para asa di ay na. 
Ah, practice pa ko ani Jen. Isamit unya ni nako sa mo ang eskwelahan sa kahanginan for school on the air. Ha? Asa man na pita? Aw, sa DYDC FM, katong kabahin sa School on the Air o SOA on Visual Arts para sa mga junior o senior high school teachers o students sa MAPE o Special Program in the Arts sa DepEd? Correct lagi ka dyan. Ako ba? <laughs> Tignan mo naman baya o avid fan ko sa DYDC FM 104.7 para mananggain na sa taga Bible City o Southern Leyte Schools Divisions. Pero... Pwede gihapon ng uban makapaminaw sa DYDC kung ganahan sila. Libre ra. Lagi, swerte good ko nga naka-appeal ko ani. Taga East West Center o EWC sa Honolulu, Hawaii, USA ang sponsor sa SOA on Visual Arts for Mental Health and Environment. Mara ba? Gikan sa Amerika. Nahala, pag ayo ayo migo. Tudloy unya ko sa imong hamakatunan sa SOA ha. Bye! Alright, so we're back, uh, mga higala or uh, participants. And so now, let's have the uh, launching of the SOA logo on uh, Visual Arts for Mental Health and the Environment. So we uh, on screen, you have the logo designed by Professor Jude Noni A. Salis. Can you please uh, provide us the the information and the right, meaning. The meaning of the logo. All right, so uh, the, overall shape, the overall shape of the logo is inspired by the Nautilus shell, which is a symbol for the inner beauty of nature, a symbol of life, and internal harmony. The head of the Nautilus shell takes both the shape of artist's paintbrush bristle and a leaf that symbolizes the natural environment. The chambers of the Nautilus shell are symbolic of the broadcast icon and the stages each individual passes through life and the inner mind. The outer spiral is the handle of the artist's paintbrush and symbolizes the concepts of creation, movement, fluidity, and motion. The dark green color of the logo symbolizes the earth, while the blue color represents water and air. So, All right, so very meaningful indeed, mm -hmm. uh, Perlin. No, as you can see, it's a, uh, a nautilus shell as well as uh, the painter's brush. Uh, beautifully done by uh, Professor Jude Nolisales. Nolis okay, so um, uh, at this point, let's have uh, the rules and regulations. Of course, uh, well, lest we forget that uh, we are uh, on a uh, online, so we'll be uh, doing this one via online um, uh, online classes. So. It's best that we know, and uh, also if if uh, all you all you're already uh, familiar with, let's have a re uh, visit of some etiquettes or etiquettes for uh, classroom uh, online classroom. Okay, right. So, all right, I'll be sharing it with yes. you guys. So this is just for us to uh, to know, no, and uh, to keep in mind when we are attending online classes. All right. So again, we have here the class etiquette for our school on the air on visual arts for mental health and the environment. First is, of course, to check your internet connection. So make sure that you have stable internet connection before joining the class. 
Next is be on time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to always be, be on time because yes. um, this is a real, um, we are doing this real time. Live? Yeah, live. Uh-huh. So we'll be uh, interacting with you guys and uh, mm-hmm. we'll also be uh, giving announcements and checking on papers and uh, announcing um, those who, who got higher scores. And, That's uh, right, Gwena. So show up a few minutes before class time and wait to be admitted. All right. Next is to wear appropriately. Yes. And this is included. So dress like you are going to class. Even though uh, we can we can be together. <laughs> yes. uh, we're, we are just together virtually. And stay muted. No? So turn off your microphone when it, when it is not your turn to speak. Yes, so because I, actually I've uh, um, uh, noticed that we are all having uh, our uh, phones or our devices muted, muted. so that's a mm-hmm. good thing. Mm-hmm. So we must all always stay muted uh, when we don't need to uh, talk or to interact or if it's not our time to speak. Yes, that's uh, right. right. And so tap or click hand raise, not to raise your hand. So once you do so, all other members... All right, so all other members of the Zoom meeting will be notified that your hand is raised mm-hmm. and that you wish to talk or participate. Of course, when talking, set a respectful tone. Yes. Uh, be kind and professional, always. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have here, mm, let's use the chat box. Right. So, yeah, this is a great place to ask questions or for clarification without disrupting the meeting. But uh, guys, no, let's also uh, be mindful and be respectful mm-hmm. and don't uh, don't abuse the chat room. Yes, so, correct. <laughs> uh, all, just the uh, necessary information and um, just if all those, questions, yeah, all, mm-hmm. all uh, related to the topic or to the class, but not uh, uh, other, uh, things. Yeah, other things. <laughs> all right. Uh, next is mm-hmm, for our students. Yes. So submit files right away. Okay, so you won't be printing assignments and handling them to your teacher in person. Knowing how to properly submit your files requirement is the key to your success in this SOA. So mm-hmm. we also remind everyone that uh, uh, the the requirements must be met uh, in order for you to graduate. So you have to uh, answer all the uh, the quizzes and you also have to pass as well. No? So, but, but we'll discuss that later. Yes. So those were our class etiquette one. Yes. So let's have um, a short... Uh, audiovisual presentation about VSU for those who are, uh, you know, who have not been to VSU Mm -hmm. or are planning to study in VSU. So let's uh, have this presentation. Welcome to the Visayas State University in Central Philippines. Our university is known to be one of the most beautiful educational campuses in the Philippines. But that is just a wonderful facade for what lies behind. A university with humble beginnings, but has grown to show that it is ready to take on the international arena. In 2017, we finally put on paper what we have been doing and striving for years, becoming a globally competitive university of science, technology, and environmental conservation. We've laid the groundwork for decades, sending our professors for graduate studies abroad, sending our students for on-the-job trainings and internships, linking with regional and international friends, disseminating our research projects in international conferences, organizing our own, and publishing our work in international peer-reviewed journals. We have forged partnerships with institutions from many countries, and they have brought in wonderful foreign professors, researchers, and students. Many of them only have the best to share about VSU. We take pride in our wins and milestones when our professors get recognized for the work that they do, and even our young faculty and students for excelling in little and big ways. And even when the university itself gets rated and ranked well, prove that we've got some world-class education and research up our sleeves. To make our internationalization efforts sustainable, we've mapped out our journey for the years ahead, investing in technology, infrastructure, and most importantly, our people to truly become a world-class university. We believe that universities shouldn't be silos, keeping in its immense knowledge and talent. A 21st century university has nowhere to go but global, and that is exactly what Visayas State University is committed to, to be globally competitive, providing access to success in a changing world. And that's it, guys. That was uh, the VSU 
in a glimpse. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, and again, oh, uh, we just uh, released the VSU uh, college admission test um, results. So again, congratulations, congratulations for those to those qualifiers. who passed. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, and uh, next, so I again, oh, after we uh, uh, provided you the uh, the the. Uh, etiquette, yes, class etiquette. Uh -huh. I hope you already uh, bear that in mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I hope you already have an idea on what we'll be doing in the next six weeks. So uh, your work is cut out for you guys, but no mm -hmm. pressure, no pressure at all. As what my painting idol, Bob Ross, said, believe that you can do it because you can do it. And he added, all you need to paint are a few tools, a, lot, a little instruction, and a vision in your mind. Wow, Bren. Uh, but by the way, no, Bren here is a local artist here at VSU. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So by the way, SOA participants, uh, to those who are not yet in our Facebook group, please uh, join us no, in our official Facebook group, yes. School on the Air on Visual Arts for Mental Health and the Environment. Everything you need to know and the Google Docs links to our quizzes will be uploaded in our FB group. And if you have questions, please don't hesitate to post them in our our FB group. But all your submissions will be sent in your respective Google Classrooms for Bye Bye and Southern later. That's right. Again, uh, inviting everyone and uh, also to those who have not yet uh, um, mm -hmm. uh, joined. joined our uh, FB private FB group. So again, School on the Air on Visual Arts for Mental Health and the Environment. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, we have 69 members. So I, I believe we have 120. So uh, please, mm -hmm. for those who have not yet joined, please do so. And um, so, yeah, we'll be checking on your quizzes. So make sure that you get 60% in all quizzes and your submissions of drawings and, uh, and describing it through a poem for you to graduate from our SOA on Visual Arts. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, Bren, I would like to greet those okay, viewers. Sure. So, we have here a comment coming from uh, Mama Maria Jacinta Belmonte. Okay. Uh, she said, congrats, BSU, as a partner new EW uh, Center. God bless everyone. Okay. I'm also interested. Yes. Maria Jacinta said. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, also from Carmela Yamada. Uh, what else? Okay. All right. So, I think mga comments. comments. Okay, so before we end the launching, guys, we need the SOA participants to answer the pretest. No, kailangan naman siya kining pretest. Mm -hmm. Make sure to submit it uh, tomorrow at the latest. Your pretest submission will serve as the uh, your passport and attendance to the uh, SOA class. So panigurod yun nga ma inyo ng makwa no ma answeran. Yeah, and no copying, please. <laughs> and uh, don't worry, kay there are no wrong no, answers. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it will just be posted yeah. as a group or as a group chat. Yeah, as a group chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it's it's already posted there. Uh -huh. But that, again, guys, all the information uh, regarding our school on the air will be posted on our Facebook, Facebook group. group. All right. So uh, are we all set for the school on the air classes? <laughs> are you ready for this? <laughs> ready. How about uh, you, Brian? I'm ready. <laughs> and I hope our, our participants are also ready. ready. Mm -hmm. Our SMEs, our subject matter experts, are already ready. <laughs> yes, that's right. So, are we all excited to learn? Okay, so see you in our first module this coming Wednesday, July 14, 2021, at exactly 3 in the afternoon, Philippine Standard Time. Thank you so much for being here with us. I'm Perlin Fernandez. And I'm Buen Andrade. See you then. Only, Only here. here at DUDC FM 104.7. Thank, Thank you, you and, and have, have a great day, day everyone. everyone. Bye. I was walking down the road.